Another county seeing growing floodwaters is Barry County, where a shelter has now opened for people displaced by the rising water. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel is live in Hastings with what they're doing to help. Lindsay. Yeah, Brian and Marley, that is correct. The American Red Cross opened up this shelter just about an hour ago at 10 o'clock. So far, one resident is here. They do expect more people to come through throughout the weekend, given that the waters will continue to rise. We did get to follow the sheriff around for a little bit earlier to some of those problem areas. He says this is the worst flooding he has ever seen. When you got the road signs up, this is no uh, road closed or no traffic. Uh, we mean it. Barry County Sheriff Dar Leaf is urging residents to take this flooding seriously. A big concern for his department right now is Barger Road. We don't know how dangerous it is right now as fast as that water is running right there. Mm -hmm. We don't know how much of the uh, dirt underneath the asphalt is washed out. Mm -hmm. Anytime you get that, you get your car in there. Another big problem area is Pleasant Shores Trailer Park. One resident estimates there's already three feet of standing water in his home. Thankfully, anyone displaced by the floodwaters this weekend can get help from the American Red Cross. They've been unloading supplies at the Commission on Aging in Hastings. Now, we also mentioned there are 327 lakes throughout the county, so the glimpse that we saw tonight is just really a portion of the problems they are going to continue to see. He's urging anyone who is seeing floodwaters to make sure it is reported so that the emergency manager can keep a good eye on things. Again, this shelter here open at the Barry County Commission on Aging for anyone who is displaced by those floodwaters. Reporting live in Hastings, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.